just had to quickly pop in this video because when I was editing the Barbados vlog, I realised a lot of the footage I took was gone. So whether I deleted it or I just didn't press record, either one is something like I would do. So just um, bear with us, we have still got some clips, so I'll insert them and then it just go on to a CD quite abruptly. So it, all the other videos are okay, thankfully. It's just this Barbados one, which is such a shame because we had such a good day. And we also went to Keelan Cow, which we talked about so much and I realised there's no footage of that. Um, so Keelan Cow was amazing. Definitely recommend going there. The steaks were literally like the most tender steaks I've ever had before. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. And I have inserted some photos of the footage that we, we didn't get to take. So I've just come to breakfast at the Keys. I've just got some buttermilk American pancakes with maple syrup and strawberry compote. I've got some fresh fruit and some fresh orange juice. So there's quite a few stations. One station is just for the pancakes, waffles. The next one is called Make Your Own Omelette and then there's also another one for full English as well. So as you walk towards the hot shops, this is where you've got your Barbados on. So we've just walked from the ship there. We're just gonna go to the beach, but it is a bit rough. So I think we're just gonna go for a walk, see what we find, and we'll see what the sea's like. But we've just seen this caterpillar. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. It's literally, got, looks like it's got a skirt on the back of it. It's quite cute. So we're just still walking, um, just when we've gone through the cruise part. But oh my gosh, look how cute these houses are. It's got a pub there, or a bar, but oh, the pink one, like the hot pink colour is absolutely stunning. So the marina's down here as well, so we're going to have a wonder. But wow, I want these houses. I literally want to go home and pink, paint my house that colour pink, because that is stunning. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's like a hot pink. So we've just walked to the marina a bit now. It took about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes. It's not too bad, it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning here, so the heat isn't... It's really hot, <laughs> but it's not ridiculously hot. But it's so pretty everywhere, like the buildings are just stunning. Laguna, um, bar, ice cream, sundays. So this is where the pool is. One of the pools. We're just waiting for a band to start. We've got some um, some lounges. We're just gonna get some to eat. And um, we've just come here. I don't know the name of it. But they do quite a few different things. The name of it. Sky Dome Taste Deck. I just asked for a hot dog as well. Hot dog pizza and chips, that'll do. Just been to Ripples, we've got some ice cream, so we've got sea salt and kraken, I've never heard of kraken. Oliver's got Kinder Bueno and what was the other one? Oh, Aria, and then Ollie's got... Hazelnut and chocolate. Yeah, so we thought we'll come in here, but I'll show you what they do, it looks so good. It is an extra charge, but I don't, know, I don't think it's a lot, it's like three pound, not even that, for two scoops. quiet because it is we are in Bridgetown but we've done Bridgetown this morning didn't do much but we plan to do more when we come back so we've got an infinity pool just around there Ollie's just having a John Smith's quite a lot of cruise ships here actually and then up there is where we were last night where the mini golf was the aerial climb and then we've got a bar and me and Oliver are in the shade as per usual Ollie and Oliver literally got the infinity pool to themselves. There is another ship there. I can't remember which one it is, but it looks so good. We've got a climbing wall in the back. So this is top deck. Very quiet. It seems really busy on the lower deck. But here, it's so nice. Just keep swimming. 
So we're just at Vistas now, which is at the Costa coffee shop here. It is an extra charge again. I think it might be included in the um, drink package, but we haven't got that. But like, it's cheap. £1.75 for cake. Um, I guess in the coffee, it's kind of just standard coffee, co Costa coffee prices. I have just got a frappe and Oliver's got an ice cooler, which he normally gets at home. But it's really nice in here. All these sunbathing still, but it's a bit too hot for us. So we've just come here just to get, get some aircon, really, and um, playing Yahtzee. But the ship is still docked off at Bridge Tower. We will be leaving tonight. That's a support there. Come to the front of the ship, there's a giant wooden chess board. So the boys are just going to play, then I'm going to play the winner. But it's about four o'clock now. The sun is starting to get a bit cooler. I mean, it's still hot. It's probably about 27. Um, but it just seem a lot cooler. It has been really warm today, actually. So this is near the front of the ship. Then there's an adults only area through there. Um, but yeah, this is so cute that you got the chess set here. So we're gonna take it in turns. I'll play the winner. And then we'll see what else we're gonna do after that. Probably go and get a drink and really ready for a pina colada. I haven't had any alcohol yet whatsoever. So this is just a full, it's actually the dorms closed today, the brief. Um, but there was a guy yesterday doing some steel, um, steel drums and they do quite a few shows at night time as well. But i just show you because it is really quiet, which is perfect for a sea day. It's cloudy, um, so I'm not really that bothered about being up the top deck in the minute. Yes, it is nice in here actually. So the boys are just doing the aerial adventure, there's Ollie there. I can see Oliver just trying to go up with this swirly thing. and then we cancelled it and we rebooked it for half past nine because we were just kind of sat waiting around and it's a lot cooler now as well which is good there's ollie on the spider's web oliver's just going out onto the flank it's doing really well going all the way out which is literally I don't think it's hanging over the edge of the ship but he's ringing the bell now and he's making his way back he's literally so brave because when I did the MSC one I literally lasted about three bits and then I had to turn around because I did not, not like it even though it was one way I literally just had to get off I didn't enjoy it whatsoever um, but yeah he well he's 13 he's got no fear
We're in the buffet restaurant now. So the boys have done the climbing, we've been in the hot tub, we've been in the pool, we watched a movie. Um, Ollie's got some potato salad, salad, buns. Oh, the vegetable pasty as well. Green and cranberry baguette. I did have um, just some potato salad, but I really want some pizza, so I'm gonna go and get some pizza from in that section there, which is with where we where there's the TV and the pool and the hot tub. It definitely seems a lot more quieter in there. Like outside, like upstairs, it's just a sea of people. Obviously, it is a sea day, but there's no some beds or anything left. So where we're sat is literally next to the window. Um, like I said, this area here. It's completely empty, which is so nice because the other side is really busy for some reason. But it's just stunning. Like we're on our way to Tortula at the moment. Uh, I think we get there this evening, but we won't be getting off the ship until tomorrow morning. But yeah, it's really nice for a buffet restaurant. Like the actual seating area is so pretty, especially when nobody else is here. <laughs> like you just you need to appreciate like obviously there's 5,000 people on here so you do you do have your busy moments but to be fair you can always find somewhere where you can just get a quiet area shop they have on board. Hi. We got dairy milk stand, M&Ms and all the prices are in um, English money as well. So Harry Bowes, sorry. And then the pick a mix which is perfect for the cinema. So I think Oliver checked last night so it's Five pound fifty for a tub for um, pick and mix, but I think that's quite a reasonable price for a cruise ship, especially when you go in to the cinema. You would pay about the same or even more at a cinema back home, and the cinema is obviously free here. And then you have more milka. They do have some toys as well, but mainly just Barbie things and little backpacks of sweets inside. There's quite a lot of shops on the ship as well, which I'll show you. You got all the Toblerones down there, Maltesers, Mentos, Chubba Chups, Ferro Rocher, and then crisps as well. So this is on deck eight. So this is where the ice cream parlor is. So we went to the ice cream parlor yesterday. There was not one person in front of us. Um, though it's quite busy now, but you come to the side, everyone sat around there. You come to the side and they've got you on. So like, well, there's another bit and only us have been sat here for the past half an hour. So you always find somewhere quiet. Where we was there, where the shop was and the um, ice cream pub. This is part of Keel and Cow. This is where we ate last night, but it goes all the way over there, like round the top of the atrium. That's the whole of Keel and Cow. So you just go in a virtual queue for that. It didn't take us long at all. Um, and then you've got more spaces down. I think there's a glass house there. We haven't been there yet. So we're just going to go on deck A, the promenade. It is a bit overcast today, but it's still really warm. So it's a lot quieter on deck eight than all the other decks, especially the ones higher up. But to be fair, you don't really need to go any higher up. They've got loads of um, hot tubs down here anyway. So it's really, if you want the pool, you could go up higher. But this one seems to be a lot quieter. Ah, uh, we're on number nine. I always call it level nine, but it's floor nine. But it is really warm, humid. You can just see another cruise ship in the distance over there. I think we can get it. I think it's raining there. there. So the hot tub here is completely empty, which is handy. It's, we haven't been in the affinity hot tubs yet either, so we'll probably go in that in a moment. Yeah, this is deck eight, so it's a lot more quieter. 
We're leaving the cabin now, so we have got Cindy a book for six o'clock. Just thought I'd just quickly mention about the Wi-Fi package. So I bought the Wi-Fi package for myself before we came on the trip, but while it was like 20% off, it was like £230. When we got here, there was an offer for the family bundle for £233, but just for one week. So that wasn't worth it. But what I've just done, I've just given Oliver my username and password and disconnected my device. So now he's using the Wi-Fi and then we can do the same for Ollie. So all three of us have the wi-fi but we just can't use it at the same time which is absolutely fine you can only have one one device registered at the one time yeah so as long as you disconnect say like kaylee's device and then oliver can have his but then he's got to disconnect it for me to have mine on it you can't have all three linked up to that same account and then use just the one yeah. you have to only have one device linked up and it is really good Wi-Fi as well. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. And I've sent videos, I've uploaded things on um, Instagram and Facebook. So I had no issues. It's really strong Wi-Fi for a cruise ship. So on every floor there's a laundrette. So there's a, I think it's about eight washing machines in there. Um, and then eight dryers in there as well. There's two iron boards in each um, with the irons that are basically on the wall. So you use them as you want. There's, there's like a control panel for the washing machines and the dryer on the wall and then the iron is like a button you press but it's all timed so the iron won't get left on so when I went in there yesterday I thought well how do I turn it off but if you read the instructions on the wall it tells you that it will go off automatically after a certain amount of minutes which is quite handy um, we've also, we've bought some what are they called pods, pods wash, yeah. washer pods um, I think on board I think they're a pound a pod or a pound a sheet I think they use on, on board uh, we've just bought the pods from home I think we paid like £2.50 yeah, or something for expensive. 12 from Lidl or Audi or something. Um, I'd probably recommend doing that to be honest because you each chuck that in the washing machine um, save yourself some time and money when you get home really. So what we'll do is possibly when I iron my clothes tomorrow I'll take you down there and I'll show you how everything works basically. Yeah so we're just going to go to Sindhu now we'll go and have a drink probably going to try the glass house for a drink if you can I'm not too sure if that's just a restaurant and then we'll go to Sindhu and see because it's supposed to be a really good Indian restaurant so I'm excited to try that so I'll show you the menu and let you know what the food's like we're walking out now and the laundrette is literally on our way to the lifts so Ollie's just going to show you um, the facilities to be fair I probably won't go in there Ollie will just do it all it's not really I, I to be fair all of my dresses and outfits never need ironing so like tonight I've just got a denim dress on um, so it doesn't need ironing and then all of my other dresses to be fair are quite fitted and stretchy so I don't need to iron anything which is so perfect so this is the laundry room we have basket, two ironing boards, two irons, sink, I'm not too sure what's around here. Oh, I don't know. And then you just, it's all controlled, so you choose your washing machine. Choose which washing machine or dryer you want, simply press it. Uh, come up, please load. And the mix will start. You can start. And where do you get the pads from? The pods from? They're yeah, from the shop downstairs. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you can just bring you on. You just can't use powder. But it's quite a big room. It's handy if you don't want to iron anything or things get creased, you can just come here because it's, it's on every floor and I think it's on every like part of the floor. Yeah, so obviously water, fill up, press that button, light up green, it's on, and that will automatically go off after a couple of minutes. Hang clothes on them when you find them. That's it. Handy, isn't it? We're on row six now, so this is the cinema. Um, so it's got quite a few different shows on different times. So Barbie was just up there a second ago. Um, it's really nice actually, it's really pretty. All the lights. There is vending machines here. I thought there was going to be snacks, isn't it? It's only just drinks, which is a shame. Yeah, there's coffee or soft drinks. And it tells you the prices there as well. So the price, to be fair, isn't too bad. Probably the same as the bars. It's just a shame that there's no snacks. But yeah, then you cost of coffees as well. Let's try the next one, see if that is just drinks as well. No, not that one, like the next schedule. Just in case. Oh, okay. So you've got canned beer, canned wine. And if that one's the food. Yeah, we'll check. So that's beer. Just click on the next one. <laughs> See up the top, it's got a list. 
So click on canned wine and see above that you can choose the next one, canned gin. So £6.50 for the gin. And you just, obviously everything, what you do, there's no cash, there's no card, it's literally just your cruise card. So let's try this one now because I really want, we can buy pick and mix from the shop. Ah, oh, there we are. We've got chocolates. So that's not a bad price either, so it's probably cheaper than cinemas back home. Oh, no, definitely cheaper at the shop upstairs. No, I don't think this, it was more than 2 50 I'm we'll sure. Have, we'll have a look. Like 1 95 that's quite cheap. It's probably the same price, £1.30 for Doritos. Um, popcorn 95p it's out of stock at the minute but yeah that's quite reasonable so we'll show you we did go into one the other day Indiana Jones. And as well. oh yeah indiana jones so they do you literally just have to check on your app so it's not an app sorry you just go onto my holiday pnr uh, down there uh, it says like what seats are occupied and what seats yeah are so like there when be colors on the chairs yeah so when we walked in the other day it just said there was no basically there's nobody in um, so this one, you can see there's one person in on number four. No, three. No, I mean like number four, like someone sat there. Oh, yeah. And then this one, one is basically one one seat available, but no booking required. When, oh, this one's completely empty. I'm not too sure what they're showing. Well, let's have a look. That's all. Avatar. We believe your blue team so receives quite roomy, indigenous. currently well, playing Avatar. Um, when we um, came in the other day, uh, we uh, literally had scary. a road to ourselves, so I the went way. the bottom, Olive up the top. Sorry, it's a bit oh, flashy, but if I can get here, there you are. It's really big. Olive is already in the action, so we're probably going to sit here for a bit and watch some of this movie. So we have got time before our meal. Just coming into Sindhu now, we're in 15 minutes earlier, yeah. so hopefully we'll be able to get seated straight away. Listen to it. We are a bit early, so but they've just said just to come to the waiting area, but how? fancy is this so this was a surcharge i think it was 10 pound each deposit so i'm not too sure how it's going to work um with regards to what we have or if it's an inclusive price and all the foods included but it is really pretty here kind of out the way it's kind of oh, only just nearly fell off the seat it would have been perfect if we got that on camera <laughs> i'm really excited for this food law this is a drinks menu it's the same as the keys for cindy so there's beers and ciders. So again, I don't think the prices are that bad. Like for us, I don't think the um, drinks package would have been worth it because it's only Ollie drinks really. Obviously Oliver doesn't. Spirits here. And then the wine. So I don't know whether this is a good price or not as I do not like wine. But like the cocktails, I don't think that's too bad. You probably pay more at home. Um, I might I need to have because I do like pina colada. That's the only alcoholic drink I'll probably drink here. But I keep going for these non-alcoholic cocktails. I've, like, the Paradise Punch, just to make you aware, is just a can of Tango. <laughs> it's not fancy. It's literally just a can of Tango. Um, so I was a bit gutted when I got that. I've had the apple and elderflower no heater. That's really nice. And then Oli had the raspberry and almond bakewell today, and that was nice as well. And I could also try the no larder actually if you don't fancy the alcoholic version of it. And then on tap, it's not, I don't think it's bad price at all to be fair. But the drinks package for us, it was coming up over a thousand pounds. The drinks package for us, when we looked at the actual price of it, it wasn't worth what we drink. I think it was like 40 pound each per day. So yeah. obviously if you're drinking, if you're having a beer, and a beer is what, five pounds, and you're having, even if you have Eight. 10 or whatever, you're only just going to need the drinks package. It's yeah. not really worth it unless you're a massive drinker. I think as well, like what we've done is because we, both me and Oliver are not really into like fizzy drinks. Like maybe we'll have one now and again, but we just prefer juice or water. So I bought my Stanley Cup and literally on every floor, even more than one, there's um, refilling stations everywhere. So we have been refilling them all day. Then I bought the little squirty bottles of squash with us. We've already gone through two of them. So I do wish I brought more. So like a drinks package for us would definitely not be worth it. You do have to kind of break down, like if you're a drinker it might be, but I'm not. Ollie's, like he'll have a beer now and again, but he won't drink a lot, will you? Uh, also remember that if I have the drinks package, the alcoholic one, Kaylee also has to have, you can't just have one per cabinet, it has to be two people. Yeah, so again, that's just not worth it for us. What's so uh, no heater has just turned up. It is really nice. Ollie's gone for a Corona. I don't even know if you meant to push that in here. 
Uh, how are you supposed to drink it if you don't push it in? Take it out, or just have it like sitting. I honestly don't know. Like, just push it in. Yeah. It's in now. <laughs> oh. So our table's ready now. It's been taken to uh, where we are seated. This looks so pretty so far. Oh yeah, we have a booth. We love a booth. Oh, <laughs> we've had a booth. Oh yeah, we do have a booth. I just think a booth is so much more private. So this is our booth. We have just asked for a kids menu only because Oliver's really picky, even though he does like Indian food. So they're just gonna bring that over, but it's so cute in here. Like, you do have to book, and we booked about literally two weeks exactly to the holiday before because we knew this is a restaurant we wanted to do and like i said we paid 10 pound each per person deposit i'm not sure how that works or what's included but i'll show you the menu now this is a menu for cindy we just had it confirmed that the 10 pound each we paid will just be taken off the menu but then we get an extra 20 percent off as well so we'll show you when we get the bill um everything comes like um poppy doms and everything comes as standard and then rice is with every meal so this is the like small plates I'm guessing and the starters and then yeah. the mains. So it did say these a little one heat. and two. Oh, okay. So they're the ones. So it's, I think you said the only one that like is, for Oliver. is a number two on here is the Lambuna. Okay. And, oh yeah, it says number two. Yeah, and the other one was the puffed um puffed flatbread flat bites right. they're the only ones that are two and then he said the monk fist it doesn't come with it it doesn't come in like a curry sauce it just comes in a standard like like curry a mayo. like uh, yeah any curious and breaks or you're giving the whole side now uh, i'm okay at the moment yeah, thank, thank you very and then we do have the desserts here as well if it will focus there you are and um, they did bring over a children's menu but to be fair i don't think oliver's gonna um do anything off it because he does like Indian food but it's just kind of standard English food for the kids but it is a good option if you do have children who don't like Indian food. We're gonna share a start we're gonna share this paneer jalfezi dosa between the two of us Oliver probably won't like it and then Oliver is going for the red chow soy the so uh, aromatic red chicken curry. I'm gonna go for this beef fillet, so beef kali mitch masala. And Ollie's going for the Sindhu signature plate, so it's teak, duck tikka, beef kali, and lobster as well. So it all comes with rice as well. I think mine comes with a um, onion bhaji as well, so I'll show you what they are. routine now so we've just been to Sindhu it was so nice but we'll go into more detail later and then we'll come up to the mini golf so this is kind of the thing we've done now for the past three nights just while we let our food um, settle so through there we've just been playing basketball and football but it is a bit wet and there with the aerial what the boys did earlier so the mini golf is completely free and um, just this little green tub there all your um, golf sticks and oh they are golf clubs and balls are there and your paper for your scores so you just come up here whenever you like and play obviously today it was a bit busy because it was sea day but tonight it's really quiet um, and also it's cooler at night time so that's why we really enjoy coming here in the evening
back in the room now so we had such a nice evening cindy the food was really really good and the service was good as well so that with the bill situation so it's 30 pound was deducted 20 percent off so it was like two pound odd so you kind of forget that you've already paid that 30 but you you had the lobster you like that didn't you yes i had this signature dish it was like three of the three of the items on the menu it was all on one one plate it's quite nice the lobster beef no lobster duck and steak yeah uh, i would i don't think i'd go back again if um, we came on this cruise again we probably would but not in this not on this two holiday, weeks no just, one there's too many other restaurants to try and and because you have to pay for it even though yeah right, i was only two pounds technically it's still i wouldn't i don't think i'd go back and pay for it no we'd much prefer keel and cow like the indian was good but keel and cow is just i don't know whether it was better atmosphere but the food was yeah really good the theming was nice in um cinder as well yeah it was really nice it was really fancy you kind of forget that you're on your ship when you're in them kind of places so after that we just popped um to mini golf basketball and then we ended up watching a different show so we watched the show on the sky dome which was like an acrobatic show x, I think it was called. yeah x it was good actually and then um we just come back to the room now to chill for a bit before our early start in tortola tomorrow we'll see you guys tomorrow yeah bye